and welcome 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 it is day number 23 or is it not day number 24 i think it's day number 24 it's day number 24 oh my goodness welcome 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 we are here and you might hear some background noise because i promised you every night 12 midnight i would be here 31 days of praise with yours truly the success broker merry christmas to you to alicia hey janice dogan hey max nah oh nah nah thank you for joining thank you for the hearts thank you for the love i am actually out uh at the movies i am here seeing star wars so i'm missing the beginning of star wars because i want to be here with you giving you uh the moment of praise, the opportunity to praise. And so you might hear some background noise because, you know, it's loud in the theater. I'm out in the hallway, but people will be walking by and I heard, overheard some things. But Merry Christmas, Merry Christ's birthday to you. I am excited to be here with you again. We are chomping this thing down, day number 24. And the word for today is actually an abbreviation because as I was studying and I was looking for a word with X, couldn't find one. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas to you, Alicia. Hey, girl. Uh, I could not find one. And so then as I was studying, I saw that one of the abbreviations for the uh, letter X is Christ. So our word for today is X. And X marks the spot. Yes, you should have that X in your life. And that X stands for Christ. But then another uh, abbreviation is XN. And XN stands for Christian. And we should all be Christians. And then the next abbreviation I saw was for X. M and XM stands for Christmas. So isn't that perfect that we feel right on that day today that it is Christmas, that we are talking about Christ and we are talking about us as Christians. We wouldn't be a Christian if it wasn't for the birth of Christ. So I just want us to just dive in for a minute and think about um, Christ. Christ is our Savior. He was born to redeem us. He was born to die for our sins. So, you know, I remember once I was talking to a client and she was attempting to resolve some issues that she had with her su uh, sister. And so oftentimes when we are in conflict with other people, we want to pray that God fix the other person. Fix them, Jesus, fix them. Well, don't you know that God is always looking for an opportunity to fix us? He's looking for an opportunity for us to look at ourselves and not always look at the other person because in any conflict, God loves both sides. Mm -hmm. He loves both sides. So we have to remember that. So I remember one of the things that the sister had asked her sister was that if you apologize, I'll apologize. And the one sister says, well, no, I can't apologize because I ain't do nothing wrong. And that thing weighed on me for a minute. It weighed on me. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me so clearly and said, if we use that logic, that we shouldn't say we're sorry for something that we didn't do, then are we really Christian? Because Christ died for something he didn't do. He didn't do nothing. He wasn't a sinner. He didn't do anything. We did. And so we have to remember that as Christians, sometimes we have to turn that other cheek. Sometimes we have to uh, forgive. And, and the Word tells us to forgive 70 times, seven times for the same offense. Not the same person, the same offense. So that from that person. So, oh my goodness, it's just a, a limitless a wild amount of ways that you should be forgiving. So, as Christians, we should embody the excellence of Christ. And so, one of the things that I do, and many of you who know, I do a, a activity called Essential Colors. And Essential Colors is a personality assessment model when it talks about the four basic types of people. Well, let me tell you this, beloved. Christ is the only perfect blend of all four types. And so in my model, I use the four colors. Blue, which stands for the compassion of Christ. 
Then there's gold, which stands for the control of Christ, the order of Christ. And then there is green. And green stands for the comprehension and competency of Christ. And then lastly, hey, cousin, Merry Christmas to you, Rodney, love you. And then orange represents the command of Christ. So we all have all four types in us, but they're at different levels. So when you take the test, you'll see the disparency in each. But when we become Christians, we're supposed to be moving to be more Christ-like, moving to be more like him. So whatever we're high in, we need to bring that down. And whatever we're low in, we need to bring that up. Because the more balanced we are, the more blended we are, the better we are at navigating all our relationships and not just the ones we like. Two, the more Christ-like we really become. And then number three, God can use all of us, not just the parts of ourselves that we like. Because don't we say often, Lord, I'm available to you. Clean out my cup so you can fill it up. But are we really saying use all of me? Or are we saying use the parts of me that I like, the parts of me that I consider are my strengths. But you never know. God wants to activate the whole you. And when you are operating in the whole you, what a mighty way to praise. What a mighty way to honor the gift that he's made you. All the different things that make you special, that make you unique, that make you just how you are. So it is very important that we begin to really activate the whole us, that we activate the Christian that God has intended for us to be because the word tells us, beloved, is by loving kindness have I drawn them. And we can't draw people if we're repelling them. We can't draw them if we're calling them out and telling them off and going off and being mean. It's so many Christians that's so mean. We have to begin to smile. We have to begin to be kind. We have to begin to love because that what Christ is was love. God is love. His son is love. And then he left us with the Holy Spirit, which is full of love. So today, this little number day, number 24, while I'm here at the movies, you can see, oh my God, you can see, you can see down there, I'm at the movies. But I wanted to come out and just tell you to love on Christ. Love on the fact that you're a Christian. And then celebrate this Christmas as Christ's birthday. And all of those are with our word for today, which is a letter, which is X. X marks the spot. And yes, X represents first Christ, XN Christian, and XM Christmas. And isn't that perfect that we fell on that day today with X? So I love you, beloved. I'm going to get right back in here at the movies and so I can see uh, Star Wars and tell you about that later. Love you. We'll be right back here tomorrow night, same time, same program. 31 days of praise with yours truly. Dr. Sabrina, love you. God bless you.